Okay, guys, Easter egg hunt. Oh. Easter egg hunt on Easter morning. You found an egg? Say blue. A blue yeah. egg. Kai, you find, come in here, Kai. There's still more stuff here. Look, uh, look under the sofa. Is there anything under the sofa? I'll take all the sofa. Oh, okay. So, the, the that's enough, spoils, that's enough, okay? the spoils that's enough of the hunt. For you, okay, that's enough for you. Egg. That's yours, okay? Eggy, eggy, eggy. That's mm -hmm. Irina's, okay? Eggy, mm -hmm. eggy, 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 eggy. Hey guys, uh, Kevin here. I'm wearing a, a tie today, a suit tie. It's Sunday, but my school has its entrance ceremony. Uh, and that's a real big deal, so I'm off to that now. And this is just a spot that I like to go do some urban birding in. Uh, this is the Ikuta River, and this is where it meets. So this comes from under Shinkobe Station, the Shinkan Station, which is up there. The water comes from the mountains, Mount Roko, you can see back there. And it comes through here and down to Kobe Harbor. And there's always a lot of great things around here. Like right now I'm looking and there's, a, there's some spot build ducks. There's a, a dusky thrush right there looking for some food. That's a migratory bird. They normally spend their springs and summers in Siberia. There is a couple of spot build ducks and a mallard. And I'm not sure if that's a regular mallard or if it's a hybrid spot build duck mallard. And what else we got going on? Lots of stuff going on. Actually, not a lot of stuff going on, but. But I gotta pack it up and get going. Off to school now and do all that thing. And there's a, what do we got over there? A white wagtail, I think. Uh, there, wait, wait. It's a Japanese wagtail. Cool. Nice. So that's what I'm doing, guys. You heard some big news on my uh, YouTube channel last night. That's true. Um, I'm gonna be moving on, moving on from here, from Kobe in a few months from now. So definitely wanna make some more memories, share some more memories of this place with you guys. I'm gonna miss it like hell, um, you know, but uh, sometimes we gotta do what we gotta do to uh, make life more comfortable for one's family. Look at this, by the way, these are all the cherry blossoms in the water. It's all Sakura, isn't that beautiful? So, all right guys, gotta go, gotta go. There's more to come later. All right guys, so here we are. This is at the mouth of the Ikuta River. This is a part of Kobe Harbor. Some really cool research vessels over there. And there are some ducks, some common poachers. We're actually, they are categorized as a vulnerable species. And something cool just flew over. I don't know if it was a turn or something, maybe. But yeah, still on my way. Beautiful day. Too beautiful to spend the day inside. Oh. I gotta spend the day, the afternoon inside a theater, dark theater. Oh my goodness, I would much rather be outside mucking around in a park and hunting for bugs, man, to be honest. Really, because, you know, that's what I'm all about these days. I'm a geek, I'm an entomology, ornithology, geek. All right, guys, let's go. Day is done. The uh, entrance ceremony is finished. I, of course, I didn't take any footage of that because it's where I work. So, um, you know, don't take video of, of students or kind of work activities. That's a big no-no, especially in Japan. So we're gonna get going. You guys, look, there's a small Coast Guard cutter coming into the harbor. You don't often see those in this little part of the harbor. Hard to see, but it says on a Japan Coast Guard. Hey, so, like I mentioned earlier, that ceremony's over, done with. On my way home, just decided to stop for a few minutes and chill out and shoot some more stuff for this video. Yeah, so quite a shock in my video yesterday, huh? After nine years here in Japan, uh, moving on. Um, to be honest though, I mean, when the situation I'm gonna be going to versus now, um, now I financially can't afford to head back to Canada every year with my family. 
Um, with a new job, we're going to be able to go back to Canada every year, go to Japan a few times a year. Hey, no problem. Um, it's been tough over the last few years trying to save money here in my current position. Um, but I'm going to be able to do that now. I'm going to be able to build a nice little nest egg starting this year, and I'm really excited about that. Um, also, my kids are going to get to go to a top-notch school for a few years, and that's going to be a really exciting adventure for them uh, as far as their education goes. Um, yeah, so, you know, as, as things progress, I'm going to be still kind of veiled about it, um, but as, as the time gets closer and more things get sorted out, I'll give you more information about it and keep you in the loop with the move and stuff. I'm um, going to be recording the Just Japan podcast later tonight, episode number 155, I believe. It's going to be a good one, fun, a panel discussion about a variety of Japan topics. So yeah, it's going to be good. And I'm going to get off and enjoy some more of this day. I'm going to go off, I should say. Uh, I'm going to go home and uh, check out my mama chari right here. That's my bike. It's my new bike. My old one died on me, so since I'm only going to be here for a few more months, I got a kind of a cheap one, but it gets the job done, and it's a heck of a lot better than taking a train to work every day. All right, guys, talk to you in a little bit. So I'm changing the soil for my rhinoceros beetles. What do you think, Rena? You've been watch, you enjoying watching me do this? Mm-hmm. Uh, hiding. Yeah, they're going to hide. They hide in the dirt. Why need to hide? Because they live underground in the dark. They live in the soil. Where's he come? He walking. In a few months, they'll become beetles. Oh, he really funny. Few months. A few months from now, in July. Hopefully, we'll be able to see it. There they go. Pretty cool, Which huh? one's a beetle? Oh, I have no idea. It's, it, it, I won't know until they actually turn into beetles. I can't tell as like larvae, as like yeah. babies. Like this, no idea. Oh, one they're going baby down. They look very different when they're um when they're beetles. Oh, you stopped. Wait, you stopped. Oh, just still digging. Look, watch. Okay, now. There it goes. They want to be in the dark as much as possible. And then we'll cover them with some more soil after this and some more water. <laughs> so, yeah. Pretty cool, huh? Yeah, the beetles go, uh, going down on the weird way. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, almost stick to there. Oh, it, it disappeared soon. Yeah, dis uh, it's gone. No, still I can see the door. Hmm? And yeah, it gone. Pretty cool. Yay, beetles. Hooray for bugs. Oh. Well, hey folks, that does it for another video blog from Japan. Kevin in Japan, thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed those beetles and other things. We had Easter eggs, we had entrance ceremonies, and bugs. Um, so remember to follow me on Fa Oh god, it's a dirty aquarium behind me, huh? I really gotta clean that thing, that's pretty gross. Sorry, fish. Let's just angle it away from there. Ew. I'm a delinquent fish daddy. Alright guys, uh, take care. Check the links below. Go check out the Just Japan podcast. Go check out my site, justjapanstuff.com. My podcast, again, is the Just Japan podcast. It's the biggest podcast about Japan out there. I think it is so far, or at this point. Pretty sure it is. 155 episodes in there. 